Good evening, I'm Holden Apsher. As gas prices rise above $4 per gallon, Indiana Democrats are proposing a three-month suspension of the state's gas tax, which could save Hoosiers about $12 every time they fill up. We have a $5 billion surplus, $200 million uh, since uh, December. We, can, we have the money to, to, to backfill those, the, those lost revenues. Suspending the tax would cost the state around $300 million in revenue, much of which goes to road construction. However, Republican legislators have dismissed the idea of suspending the tax. As the former hospital site redevelopment moves forward, Bloomington is looking for sustainable design recommendations. So, so what kind of requirements would we want to bake into things like, for example, RFQs or RFPs that would allow us to pursue and achieve uh, a more sustainable development um, process than we might otherwise see? The city's redevelopment commission approved a contract last night to provide recommendations as the city moves into the bidding process of the development. The contract with Indianapolis-based Guidon is worth almost $12,500. The Northern Indiana utility NIPSCO has agreed to pay more than $11 million to clean up coal ash in the town of Pines. The utility plans to test for toxic heavy metals at about 400 homes and businesses. Exposure to high levels of toxic heavy metals can cause health problems, including damage to the nervous system and increased risk of cancer. Now for a look at the weather tonight, partly cloudy, a low of 33. Looking ahead to tomorrow, partly sunny, a high of 50 degrees. On Thursday, mostly sunny, a high of 51 degrees. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.